This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the Palm Pixie, Palm's second webOS device. And this is available now on Sprint. It's somewhat more affordable than the Palm Pre. It's $99 with a two-year contract. And as you can see, it pretty much is a Centro replacement in terms of design and ergonomics. You have the little rubbery keyed keyboard down here, a fairly small design. Fits very easily in the hand. And a simple back. This is the standard back that comes with the phone. It's kind of a nice soft touch finish that feels good. So do the curves. If you opt for the $70 charging stone, which looks like this, which is an electrostatic stone, just drop it down like that and it charges, that comes with an alternative back, which also looks kind of cool. You can see here it has a pebbly, kind of dimpled finish. And this one will be conductive for charging, whereas the standard back is not. Again, this back is included if you get the touchstone charging base. So the Palm Pixie has a 2 megapixel camera on the back here. Teeny LED flash. We've got little speakers also. 3.5 millimeter stereo headset jack. It's good for music listening. And a teeny little QWERTY keyboard. Power buttons up here. When the device goes to sleep, it locks the screen like so, and you slide up works pretty much just like the Pre, but it's a smaller display that's less vivid and less pretty. It's a little harder to operate on screen icons and things like that because the targets are smaller, but it's, it's not that difficult. So if you've got programs running here, like we have a web browser going in our calendar, they'll be up here on the desktop. You've got shortcuts to your contacts, the phone, email, calendar, and to the program launcher. If you've got too many programs here on the desktop and you want to get rid of one, just like with the Pre, you just go throw it and it automatically kills the application. Since we have the web browser running here, we'll just tap on that. Take a look at that. And it does have an accelerometer. And it supports pinch and zoom. It's a WebKit based browser like Safari on the iPhone and like the Android web browser, which means that it renders very well. It's pretty fast. This doesn't have as fast a CPU as the Palm Pre. It's a more traditional ARM 11 processor, but it can handle web browsing fine. We do find that sometimes the device lags when you have a lot of applications running them. You can see that right here. You see this light up button appears when you're in an application. You just touch that to go back to the home screen. Take a look at the programs that are pre-installed on here. We've got Google Maps, a web browser, messaging, camera, music player, photos, all the stuff you've also probably seen on the Pre. We've got Sprint Navigation, Sprint TV, NASCAR, NFL, along with document viewers and a PDF viewer. Let's take a look at Sprint TV. We'll just pick something from one of the premium channels. By Sprint TV standards, it loads the menu pretty well pretty quickly. Let's see how video quality itself is then. This automatically switches to landscape mode and it'll play in full screen. So you can see some some jaggies and some lagging, even though we have a pretty good EVDO Sprint signal here. But that's not that unusual for Sprint TV either. Audio and video are not quite in sync, generally, but it's watchable. And if you want to go back, you just swipe across here, and it becomes your back and forward button. And if you're done with it, just tap there. Get rid of that completely. Next, let's take a look at Sprint Navigation, which is a monthly subscription plan, but it's included with Sprint's Everything plans. It provides spoken turn-by-turn -turn directions, POIs, and all that good stuff. Pop a map over EVDO. <laughs> For some reason, it said it couldn't find our current location, even though it did a perfectly good job of finding our current location. You can scroll around on the map. And new map data is downloaded as you scroll around over Sprint's network. This phone does not have Wi-Fi, unlike the Pre. It does have Bluetooth. Obviously, it has the GPS. 
there's a 3D map option, which might be good for driving. And that's Sprint Navigation. Next, let's take a look at the built-in YouTube player. This also plays in landscape mode and in full screen, once you get the video playing. And this is over Sprint's EV network. We've got about two-thirds signal strength. And we'll just pick something like the Google Chrome OS demo. While we're waiting for this to buffer, you'll notice this does pick up fingerprints. It's, it is shiny, plasticky black. And this is pretty reflective, this surface here. So you're going to get some glare if you use it outdoors. The screen is viewable, but it's harder when you've got light glare to deal with. We've just moved it up to max volume. It's not a very loud speaker on it. And it is having some trouble playing back YouTube right now. We have tried it other times when it's more smooth than this. This is the app marketplace for Palm WebOS devices. For those of you who are wondering, since apps are all the rage now with thousands upon thousands of apps available for Android and 100,000 apps available for the iPhone, there's a couple here right now available for WebOS. You'll see the featured ones here. Includes a Twitter client, flashcards, news and information, and you can click on and see what's been recently added. And there are some free things in here, and there are a few that you can actually pay for. So it's a start. I don't think we've hit 100 apps yet. As simple as that. If you click on an application, you can check out reviews if there are any and get more detailed information. And there are links to the developer's homepage and for support as well. So that's the Palm App Marketplace. The Pixie also has a music player and access to Amazon's MP3 download store, just like Android, and it has a local video player. It's got a full suite of PIM applications, and one thing WebOS is very good at is syncing to services in the cloud. That's all that it does, so it supports Google, Exchange, Facebook Sync, and does a very good job of not creating, creating duplicates in your contacts database. Phone's available now on Sprint. And again, this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Visit our website to read the full review.